Hi, this is Dick Lynch with McGrath Cadillac in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I'm here today to spend a few minutes talking with you about the 2021 Cadillac Escalade. It's a beautiful machine, a lot of great changes, and I'm going to show you just a few of those today in the time we have allowed. First of all is the grill that you can see right here in front of me. This is a Sport Edition Escalade, so it's got a darkened front grill. The grill surround has also been darkened. So the grill on this car comes from the Escala School of Design that was introduced by Cadillac about 15 years ago at the Concorde de Elegance. So the design of the lights, the design of the blade running LED lights for daytime running lights, the shape of the grill. Coming down the side of the car, this particular one being a Sport Edition, I'm gonna have 22 inch rims, but they're gonna be darkened with a little less chrome, a little less bling. Coming down, the same theme is carried out. There's no chrome around the door surrounds. The rear uh, step boards are blackened. There's also a black rocker panel all the way around. Again, all part of the design theme. Then coming back around, we're gonna find in the back, I'm gonna have a clear, clear uh, plastic cover over the back taillight lens, consistent with the sport design. Again, the lack of chrome here on the top. To get in the Cadillac this year, a uh, cool thing they've got is a, just push the Cadillac logo, the emblem, family crest, I should say, and the gate uh, will release. In the back, I'm gonna have the ability to drop the third row seats by pushing a button. I can stand in the back and also uh, with a push of a button and I can tumble forward the center row seats from here. Uh, so this is the same setup as we had in the previous models. Uh, I'm gonna have a small storage compartment back here in the back, but this year they've also included a 120 volt plug in here on the side. So if you wanted to power up a, a small saw and or a compressor to blow up something, you can do that from right there as well. So here in the back, again, you can do this with hands-free gate operation as well. I'll push the button and close the gate. I notice I've got two camera lenses here in this model. One is gonna be for the traditional backup camera, and the other is gonna be for a rear view camera view, which gives you a live view of what's going on behind the vehicle through the rear view mirror, unobstructed. So if you had a car full of cargo, it would be no problem to do that. So coming around on the side, the uh, door handles on this model have LEDs uh, embedded into the door handle. This is a squeeze and release. It does not actually move the handle. So to squeeze and release it. In this particular model, I've got the light neutral interior with beautiful perforated leather seats. These of course are heated. Then I'm gonna have the ability with these seats to drop and fold them as well as move them backwards and forwards for a little additional comfort. This is what I'm doing right here. Pull the handle here and you can drop the seat from here. Give it one more pull and it pulls, it drops all the way, it comes all the way up or you can do it from over here. So I'll push the button to do it. This has now has a rear independent suspension. And by doing that, you create a more flat floor for the third room passenger. So, but most importantly, it gives the car much better handling characteristics as you drive it. I had a chance to drive this model on about a 50 mile an hour, 50 mile trip uh, on a curvy road. And it was just no question that they minimized the body roll entirely. So it's a great engineering feat that they did this. So independent rear suspension gives you more flat surface in the back, back seat passengers more comfortable and it handles better. Then we'll move the front. So they designed the cab to be uh, oriented more to the driver. So it's more of a driver centric ve vehicle. Highlighted by this beautiful OLED screen that's curved towards the driver. So it's more oriented to the driver. So driving the car will just be a quick glance to the right, straight ahead to tell you what's going on. Uh, you're gonna have a screen over here that will tell you the physical properties of the vehicle. The center screen is gonna display the speed limit, the posted speed limit on the road, and it'll also have an augmented reality capabilities when you have your navigation system engaged. The third big screen over here is gonna be your vehicle control C systems right here. So everything from vehicle settings to the climate to Apple CarPlay, Android AutoPlay will all be in the screen right here. Very easy to use. The, uh, the clarity of this is as good as any color television set you can buy. And in most cases, it's better. This one also has head up display, which is gonna be right here. Again, it's going to be at your eye level, telling you everything you need to avoid the vehicle, how fast you're going. And if you have your navigation, it's going to show you when to turn and so forth. So it's very easy to maintain control of the car when you're driving it down the road in the setup we have here. I also have a piano key control system right here. These are all uh, aluminum uh, pieces. It's not plastic. This will allow you to adjust your fan speed, temperature. Uh, if you wanted to adjust the volume, you can do this and several other functions from here without going to the screen. A lot of it's redundant, but it's again to aid the driver in getting down the road safely. Coming down the center console, I'm gonna have an electronic transmission. There'll be 10 speed in this car. This will always come back to the same position that's in straight up. Even if you're in a driving position, you push the top, it goes into park. Very important to note on the General Motors cars. 
if you'd ever turn the car off without it being in park, it will automatically default to park every time. So the huge safety advantage that we have with our vehicles. Coming down on the top, just right above it, I have an auto hold switch. So if you're pulling a heavy trailer with this car, we're on an incline, you can push that button down and the car will not roll backwards before it starts to go forward. Secondly, this is the auto start stop button right here in the middle. We've had this now for four years or more. Basically, the car will go into the idle mode running off the battery if the car is in drive and you're at a stoplight or intersection for more than 10 seconds. Gas engine shuts off, run off the battery. As soon as you lift your foot off the brake pedal, it momentarily will restart in about three tenths of a second. This switch allows you to turn it off if you don't like it. However, you have to do that each and every time you start the car. Then over to the right of that, I've got lane keep assist. It reads the center stripe, stripe on the shoulder, and it basically will guide your car back to the center with a very gentle nudge of the steering wheel. Doesn't drive itself, but it will bump you back to the center line if you may be getting a little drowsy. So a great safety system. You can turn that off also if you don't like it. Coming down, I'm gonna have a small knob right here for radio control. Market feedback from customers several years ago, they said they wanted to have a small rotary knob they could push to adjust the volume up and down. They don't want to swipe their fingers. You can push the button and mute the radio as well. Then coming down, I've got a jog wheel just below that that will allow me to manipulate the information in this part of the screen simply by moving it over to your right, to your left, and turning it. Uh, I'm going to have small USB here, standard USB here, great center console. It's got two more USB jacks. I've got another 120 volt plug in here as well, SIM card and a 12 volt plug in there. This is a battery. Uh, wireless battery charger right here for your phone. You just slide it in there, it'll charge for you. Heated and cooled seats in the front. Again, semi aniline leather. All the stitching is stitched. It's not embossed. Uh, hand sewn steering wheel. Uh, of course, it has electric power tilt steering wheel. I've got uh, shift paddles here behind the steering wheel. Uh, everything you would expect to have in a Cadillac, I've got this with all these magnificent upgrades to the electronics. It really is a space age vehicle. This beautiful Escalade also comes with a, for the first year ever, AKG sound system. This has 19 speakers through the, all three rows of the car as well as in the headrest. Thank you very much for your time today. Please stop by and see if you happen to be in the Cedar Rapids area. I can be reached at 319-393-3300 or on our website at www.mcgrathcadillac.com.